turn it off there for a second. I'm glad to see that we have a plaque. I was hoping to get a shiny jacket. When we were on the Catholic schools, like back at St. Stan's, we used to get jackets. So maybe can, I'll trade that in for a jacket. And I'm taking my poster too. I'm taking that one. I'm gonna hang it in my bedroom. Um, in all seriousness, it, it's great to be here tonight to be in front of and, and inducted into the Omaha Hall of Fame. You know, I look back at all the years that I got to play football and all the people that touched my lives. And I'm truly humbled and honored to be up here tonight and to be a part of this Hall of Fame. To be a part of the Hall of Fame, such as guys like Marlon Briscoe, who's here tonight, Dave Remington, Phil Cahoy, Jim Hartung, those are all the South Omaha guys I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I wear my SOP on my, on my sleeve pretty proudly. Um, in all seriously, you know, you look at your legacy and, and how I've now been cemented into the Omaha Sports Hall of Fame, it's something my kids and my grandkids and everyone in the future will have the honor of seeing. And it's truly humbling to me. And, you know, I look at people who get inducted to the Hall of Fame, and I, you know, I don't mean to diminish the, the role of the Hall of Fame, but really I was never less than one eleventh of a unit out there. Well, except for the kind of times we couldn't get enough guys in the field. But um, it happens sometimes in South Florida, the brightest down there. But, um, we, you know, the teammates that brought me along, the people I was able to be a part of, the teams that I was able to be a part of, really cemented who I was. And, and the brotherhood and the, the relationships I gained through football have stuck with me throughout my whole life. You see, I never believed that the name on the back of my jersey was more important than the name on, my, on the front of my jersey. And I was truly honored to be a part of teams such as the Packers, the Mavericks, the Giants, the Chiefs. All of those teammates and all the people behind me were the ones who supported me. You know, and I was able to be around such great people. And in the NFL, I got to play for a coach named Dick Vermeil, and I was there for his last two years. And there's certain moments you'll never forget, and one of the moments that I'll never forget is when he announced his retirement. He announced them to us, I think it was in 2005, and Dick Vermeil was a very emotional guy. Now, he loved to practice three hours a day in pads every day, which was hard, but he loved his guys. And he stood up before us and announced that he was leaving the game. And, he had, and what he had told us was, men, you know, you're going to take a lot of things from this game. You're going you're gonna to have fame, you're going to have money, you're going to have so many things. But what you'll never lose is the relationships that you have, the people that you meet along the way. And in that respect, I've been a very rich man to be able to be a, a part of such great teams and to be around such great people. You know, I look at, I look at the, the people and the coaches and the, the support that I got here in Omaha, in, in New York, and in Kansas City. And it was just tremendous. Um, there's some people here tonight who are with me. You know, my folks are back there. 